Here, here's another little beef story. We have more beef, actually. Yeah. We do have more beef. I do quickly want to update everyone on the homestead situation. Oh, okay, okay. Was that in the bonus we talked about in the main? Uh, we talked about that in the main. Well, update, so, you know, I'm not, don't, you don't have to go brigading their comments. That's not a, what I was looking for, but some people took it upon themselves, and the comments were really funny. The irony of the whole thing was, I don't know if it was really irony, but they posted a picture of the place I stayed at. After yeah. the episode came out? Yeah. At, like, to, to yeah. stick it to you? No, I think they had no clue. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. Yeah. It was the same fucking person that sent me the Balenciaga hat. Maybe, yeah. Contracts for both companies. Yeah, it's just one intern. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're going to get fired. Fuck you. You know, if you go to their other posts, their engagement is ass. <laughs> yeah. Like one comment. Like one bot comment. It's like, ooh, beautiful. Or someone being like, I'm all alone and pussy wet. So the, the post, someone sends it to me and they're like, damn, they're already getting them. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. I was a little nervous. I didn't know what you guys were going to do. <laughs> Has 44 comments. All of them just, that's dope. When did the CEO come on the bed? <laughs> Sick. Does this house come with cum stains? Wow. Your your CEO must come. It was just like all CEO come. Oh, come. Oh, and damn it. when a few posts back. So they limited comments on everything and they deleted that post like some bitches. Have they not reached out to you directly still? No. What? No. Yeah. What? No. That's absurd. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't. The caption wasn't like our beautiful remote place with a very in Joshua clean tree bed. that is not spooky at all. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a, a very <laughs> clean bed <laughs> and very clean. Sheep, and our CEO does which are not dark gray, not black. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Which have asphalt gray <laughs> sheets. Okay. And dark obsidian is the color of the comforter. And okay. barely any cum. And the only place to come is here okay? okay so many people were like hashtag refund noel i was like i kind of like this it's kind of like i went to jail or something it's like free me like i would go to the page and look at those right now but on the, my ipad here yeah but i fucking blocked them so yeah. i can't look at shit that's that was their tone with me when i was like talking to him about you, sorry you're just on. blocking them again i was on the pad What's up? You just unblock him to block him again? Yeah. Yeah, just to stick it to him. That was their tone with me, obviously, when they were going back and forth with me. We didn't even go back and forth. I wasn't even I wasn't even a dick or anything. I was just cool. I'm like, and I went back and read what I said. And I was like, dude, I was doing more to figure it out than they were. I was like, oh, do you maybe have another place open nearby? Like, I'm willing to that. And they were just like, no. Everything's booked. It's a nice house. It's not scary. It's October, you pussy. You're supposed to be a little spooked out, all right? It's fucking October. It's in the theme. You clearly haven't been to a haunted house yet this month. We know. Yeah. So just get spooked out a little bit, okay? Is there any other house I could... How about this sack the fuck up, dude? Is there any other house I could go to? They just sent me a screenshot of a security camera in the house just watching us like a secret one. How are you doing that? Sack the fuck up. You think this is scary? <laughs> yeah. You haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. It'd be funny <laughs> if they sent you a picture of like a bounce house or something like that. And they were yeah. like... Here you go. Here's a house for you, little bitch yeah, you, child. Little pussy. <laughs> little pussy. <laughs> they get that shit from kindergarten, that big like rainbow parachute that yeah. everyone would run under. They're like, oh, maybe this would be a better home for you, <laughs> you fucking weenie. I would have almost preferred a nine paragraph subtweet. Yeah. We could keep this going. Yeah. But the fact that they're just convinced that, uh, you know, like some like anal like realtor was like, no, this is a beautiful home. It's like, it's not. Yeah. It stinks. <laughs> it fucking sucks. And everyone that likes that house it probably does sex trafficking i don't know it's, it's... <laughs> and you can quote him on that yeah 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 <laughs> put that in the fucking new york times oh no i'm gonna start like a whole other like conspiracy like remember when wayfair everyone's like the forty thousand dollar hat yeah. they're hiding kids yeah. they're gonna do the same shit with homestead on the tmg podcast noel said this house <laughs> came with cum stains so now we have homestead beef right we have balenciaga beef and uh, I don't really see an end in sight for either of those. Nah. But now we have celebrity beef as well. Do we want to do this? Machine Gun Kelly hit me up. No. No, nah, no, no. I'm kidding. But could you imagine? It's not that. It's, uh, oh, yeah. Do we want to? I feel like actually, yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. So we noticed that Gary V follows us on Instagram. Yeah. Right. And, and so, you know, we've DM'd a little bit now. Believe well, it or not. I tried, but he left me on red. You want the smoke. It's all right. I understand. Well, I mean, like, it's better than what he sent me. Yeah. He's sending me his own stuff where he talks about, like, people that hate on other people. Oh, uh, yeah. You hate her? And he's just like, send me that, and then I'll just like it. 
And I'm not really sure what the relationship is at this point. He's cucking you. Does he hate us? Does he like us? I have no idea. I don't know. But we have to find out. That's a wild thing to do. Send DM someone a clip of yourself saying something to someone else that's vaguely related to like the it's just crazy. Yeah, real homestead moves right there. It is. Yeah. It's kind of a boss ass move, honestly. Yeah. I'm not even gonna write anything. I'm gonna send you a clip that I already recorded because that's how little I care about this conversation. I already spoke about it. I already said some shit. I'm not even gonna waste my time writing new words. You should have responded by, like, like downloading the TikTok of us talking about him and then just sending him the raw file. So it's like play video, and he and he, and he opens it, and it's just us. You like Dogecoin, right? Picture your family eating five thousand marbles. Picture yourself microwaving vomit and then eating the vomit. <laughs> you like racing, right? Yeah. Picture going into the urinal at four o'clock. And eating the shit produced from all the adrenaline of all drivers on track that day. Dude, so many people in the bonus said that we actually made them almost puke. <laughs> you know, and the thing is, with the people that are listening right now, you don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah, but we yeah, had like yeah, we yeah. had like a gross out challenge at the end of the last bonus episode where we like <laughs> tried to make the audience vomit. Imagine popping a pimple directly into your mouth. <laughs> Imagine witnessing a bowl of Italian gnocchi and you bite into the first one and you realize they're all cysts. <laughs> Someone is sitting at their desk right now and just went, <laughs> So you want to know about Shiba Inu coin, huh? Imagine a bucket of hot diarrhea sitting in the sun. <laughs> Yeah, this is the one he sent me. I watched this. Play it. You want to do or you might be thinking is interesting because you say no. You say no, that's stupid. That's stupid. While you're saying that's stupid or she's stupid or they don't get it or that's ridiculous or shit's fucked up, people are out here fucking executing. Fucking talking shit from the sidelines, eating a fucking hot dog and drinking a Slurpee has nothing to do with the athletes on the field. Remember that. The sports analogy there. I thought he was talking about this <laughs> sludgy cut that we had. Yeah, I was gonna say hey, there's a lot of people on TikTok who disagree with that. Yeah, so, hey, man, don't shit on the slushy cup. Yeah, bro. yeah. Sitting on the sidelines. I mean, does this count? We're in space. No, we're we're you can't above. Get much more sidelined than us. You can't get much more condescending than space. We're literally looking down on everyone. That's true. Okay, that's true. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the DM. He said, had to do it, which I don't know. Also don't, don't know what that means. Like had to send this to you or had to say it because you suck. Yeah. See, I, I don't think he, I don't know if he, I don't think he actually dislikes us. I like him. Yeah. I like him. I just, I think he's really easy to make fun of, but obviously he knows that. He seems like he, he's, he always comments on people that like roast him. Yeah. And the dude who does the impersonation of him. Is yeah. Like, he said it. it was really funny. Yeah. So <clears throat> I don't, I don't think he takes any of it personally. Well. I, I think right now it might be a little bit of a beef. And I don't know, it's like, yeah. kind of like a skirt steak. A little beef. 